yesterday or now I wanted to show you because I was reading and I want to show you something that really really caught my attention it's there but I'll leave this and I'll take you up here to see where I'm getting this as usually this is where I read from Revelation chapter 1 so if you read here it's um it's a little bit strange there's a lot of strange things but I want to show you a couple so it's a revelation from it's a prologue dive John yeah hmm. so if you read here what do you understand yeah the revelation from Jesus Christ which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place okay so there is Jesus but there is God who gave this revelation to show the servants the people of course okay um, Word of God and the testimony of Jesus. There is the Word of God, and then there is the testimony of Jesus. Fine. Hmm. There was a um, um, read this bit to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his God and Father his God who are we talking about? of course we're talking about Jesus so Jesus Jesus has a God and Father well he's everyone's Father this Father here is everyone's Father and you guys all know the way Jesus taught his disciples to pray our Father in heaven. Okay, so it's is the Father of everyone, but He is the God of everyone, including Jesus. All that I will skip. I don't want to uh, keep too long at that. So John's vision of Christ. So now John is going to see Christ is going to hear a voice, a loud voice behind him, so he'll turn around this all in the dream, okay? Or if you want, you can just say it's not in a dream, like John himself says. Uh, he was in an island. Uh, let me see if I can find that. It's not very far, it should be here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I was in the spirit, but it should be just here, here. Patmos. It's an island. Now, was it sleeping and dreaming, or was it a vision? But anyway, I I don't I, I don't want you to see that. What I want you to focus on is this bit from here to here. So now he is going to describe Jesus. Okay. All right. And among the lamp stands was someone like a son of man, dressed in a robe, reaching down to his feet, and with a golden sash around his chest. Now, focus. The hair on his head was white like wool, as white as snow. But look at this, these eyes now. His eyes were like blazing fire. Okay? His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace. His voice. His right hand. Yeah. But look at this. Coming out of his mouth was a sharp, double edged sword. Hmm. Ok. 
Okay. What is he describing in here? Mm -hmm. Only God knows. Is this, is this it is it sound like a um, mythical creature uh, from the Gre Greco Roman uh, legends or myths. And double edged sword coming out of his mouth. Hmm. So he saw him, got scared. He fell as if he was dead. Okay, fine. In chapter two, you see that um, the description of of Jesus or or the Christ, whom John saw in chapter one shows here his characteristics to each church and tells them this is me who does what who has what so like in here he holds the seven stars and then here he is one the first and the last who died and came to life again and in here he is one who had the sharp double edged sword in here he has the eyes which are like blazing fire and he's telling people this is what you're doing this is what you're doing you're good you're doing well but I still hold something against you and you have to do one thing he says to all these churches it's here repent Hmm. So that's to Ephesus. Okay. Hmm. Where's the other one? He tells them to repent. Mm hmm. Repent. Otherwise, I will come there and blah blah blah. So repent, repent. Okay. So this is what we get from chapter two. The the angels of the eight churches are talking to the churches telling them this 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 but what we retain is repentance this is what Christians don't want to accept it's repentance this is what we have in Islam repentance believe in God and repent the last thing I wanted you to check in here in this chapter is this okay I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Deeds. This is what Christians actually don't believe in. It's deeds. Okay. I hope you are. You you do understand this, and if you don't do your own homework. The last verses from chapter 2 are this it's just that um, this threat to the nations that if they do not repent he will give authority over the nations that one will rule them with an iron scepter and will dash them into pieces like poetry sorry like pottery just as I have received authority from my father I will also give that one the morning star you guys all know the morning star in here 
uh, is, refers to to Jesus, but in Isaiah chapter 12 verse 12 it refers to to Lucifer, to to the devil, to Satan. So, what is happening in here? You tell me. Because in this very book, in chapter 22 verse 16, it says that Jesus is the morning star. In Isaiah, of course, 14-12, it says uh, the devil is the morning star. So who is it? Chapter 3 in the book of Revelation. In the letter to the church in Philadelphia, of course this is John writing what Jesus is saying. Read in here. I will write on them the name of my God and the name of the city of my God. Are you guys are you guys following? Of my God. You will be a pillar in the temple of my God. Okay? And the name of my God. The city of my God. Remember what I showed you on, in chapter 1? Again in here in chapter 3. These verses as you can see. He's saying God. This is not. This is not. Um, John talking. Okay. He's listening to what Jesus is telling him. to the church in Laodicea he tells them be earnest and repent remember repent okay so I'll leave that this is the end of chapter 3 chapter 4 still in the book of Revelation. I'm reading and I came across something very very peculiar. This. What is this? There are seven spirits of God. Mm, God has seven spirits now. I thought there is only one Holy Spirit, unless if these are different from the Holy Spirit, these are different spirits, there are seven, and there are other kings, or what are they? Hmm? Before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. And the one who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Ruby, a rainbow, they look like it. And surrounding the throne were twenty-four other thrones, and seated on them were twenty-four elders. Who are all these people, man? Who were they? They're dressed in white. Probably. Mm -hmm. These are the seven spirits of God. What is that? It is amazing what Christian prince would come out and start s slashing Islam from some scriptures, some some people who are writing. But he would never show you this. Look and read. Of course, we're still in here. So, read in the center, around the throne, were four living creatures, and they were covered with eyes in front and in back oh, a lion an ox third had a face like a man the fourth a flying eagle they had six wings hmm 
Interesting. Hmm. A very scary lamb in here. Chapter 5. This, this lamb here... The, was um, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. So this lamb, look at this lamb, had seven horns and seven eyes. Of course these, the seven eyes, seven horns, I don't know. They are the seven spirits of God. So we come across again with the seven spirits of God. So he took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. So who sat on the throne? It's a question to you guys. Please answer it. Okay. It's definitely not the lamb. In chapter seven I'll show you. these verses here the great multitude in white robes it just reminded me something it is amazing this after this I looked and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation tribe people and language standing before the throne and before the lamb they were wearing white robes and were held in palm branches white robes and palm branches that only reminds me one thing it's this the Muslims in pilgrimage this is what they do, this is what they wear and they're all worshipping God as you can see all in white robes white robes worshipping around the throne of God we say this is the house of God of God of course white robes Everyone wears white robes. Okay. White robes. Let's get back to this. Um, it's the end of uh, of the chapter. And of course I'm skipping from a couple of chapters because they all talk about some stuff that do not make any sense right now. To me anyway. I'm sure there's some people who they will they will understand them. So I just so the first angel sounded his trumpet and there came hail and fire mixed with blood. So stuff like that. Because the previous chapter is the same and the the one before that. So I'm trying to skip all that. Okay. I skipped a couple of chapters. I'm in chapter eleven. Just to highlight this bit. First of all, is who are these 24 elders? It's amazing. They sit on their thrones. They have thrones before God or in front of God. Hmm. Okay. But what happened? Look what they do. They fall. They fell. So, like we Muslims do, we fall on our faces and worship God. None of the Christians actually go on his face and worship God. The Jews and the Muslims only do that. Hmm. Chapter 12. It talks a lot about a dragon. A dragon and then he the then serpent and then dragon and then serpent. So the dragon. Da -da -da. So the the woman who was chased by the dragon was taken to a place where she's going to be taken care of for one thousand two hundred and sixty days. I don't know why one thousand two hundred and sixty days, but then later on she is taken to a safe place, but only where she would be taken care of for a time times and half a time. I don't know how you from this you get to that. 
But anyway, so this dragon becomes a serpent and then turns into a dragon and then turns into a serpent again. I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Let's read. Serpent. So, he's a dragon in here, and then he is the serpent, and then he is what? The dragon. And he's the dragon. Hmm. What is going on here? I, I don't understand. He's once a serpent, once a dragon. I don't know whether it's the same creature, same entity, or it changes. So... Uh, Michael and the angels fought with the dragon and the dragon is the dragon and the dragon and his angels so this dragon has angels okay and they lost their place in heaven the great dragon was hurled down that ancient serpent called the devil so he's the dragon and then the great dragon and then the serpent and he's the devil and he's Satan okay Uh, it's a little bit complicated. I don't know what's going on in here, but he's, he's changing a lot. I want you to note this. We are um, reading from chapter 14. In the book of Revelation, when it talks about Jesus, it says the Lamb. And when it says talks about God, it says God. Okay? So, this angel here is saying, Fear God and give Him glory. Okay? So, Fear God. Lots of Christians will deny that we should fear God. Fearing God doesn't mean like be afraid and hide from Him. No, it just means do the do's and don't do the don'ts, as in obey His rules. Okay, do what is what you're supposed to do, what is uh, in the law, and don't do what is not to be done in the law. I've skipped a few ch- chapters. It's all plagues and God sending plagues on people and wrath and Babylon and woes and stuff that that mm, really not interesting at all. In chapter 19 we read the heavenly warrior defeats the, the beast and his on his thigh is written king of kings and lord of lords some Christians will tell you is he's Jesus but in, in here it does not say anything about but uh, they, they might tell you that it's in interpretation but this guy here is dressed in a robe dipped in blood and his name is the word of God that's why they say he's a guy. he is Jesus the army is Come out, coming out of his mouth is a sharp sword and he strikes down the nations this is supposed to be Jesus Okay. 
Now this has got to be the funniest part of the Bible. I've seen some funny stuff. You gotta read in here. Where are we? Chapter 20, still in the same book. So, angels, they go do what? They go hunting. Who are they hunting? The dragon, of course. The serpent. The devil. Satan. So they caught him. Hmm? For how long? For a thousand years. So they locked him up, sealed him up. Right? Why? Because he deceives nations. Okay? But one thousand years later, they set him free. For a short time. For God's sake, <laughs> if you catch the devil, why would you let him out? This is ridiculous. You got him, keep him there. Why, why let him go to go back to deceiving the nations? It's crazy. Hmm. So, Satan finishes his sentence, which is a thousand years. Now he's released out of prison. Hmm. What's going on here? Why would you do that? It's like on purpose. And there's something else I noticed. Gog and Magog are mentioned in the book of Revelation, in the Bible. <laughs> and it is mentioned in the Quran. Yet you'll find Christians telling you, what is this Gog and Magog? Especially you, Christian Prince, if you're listening. Hmm. Judgment Day. So, Satan, um, before before judging the the dead, Satan was judged. So he was thrown to um, the lake of burning sulfur, and of course everyone else with it. Now it's the dead. I just want you to focus on one thing. Um, the dead were judged according to what they had done. Okay, so those Christians will tell you, "Oh, it's not about it's not about what you do. It's about faith, believing, or Jesus, or the blood, or something." No, they're going to be judged by what they have done, what you have in your book. All right. Mm. again it's in here again so and then and each person was judged according to what they had done so it is in here and it is in here so it's twice then death and Hades were thrown into the lake so lake death dies as well okay so there will be no death again Chapter 21 in the book of Revelation. It is, this is, we have the same verse in the Quran where heaven and earth changes and there will be new heaven and new earth. So, some are going to go to hellfire, burning sulfur. Okay? Who are these people? Hmm? These sexually immoral. You know those who go out on Friday and Saturday and they hang out with the ladies. They get drunk and then they take them and they go to bed. You know, those who have boyfriends and girlfriends. They're not married. Okay, they will all go to the lake of burning sulfur. Now let's go to to the to the beef. This is what I would want people to see, because lots of Christians, especially Christian prince, would come to you and say, 
And while the Muslims believe that in heaven is food and drink and women and stuff like that. Well, here it is. We're in chapter 22. So, is on each side, the middle of the grace, in the rivers, bearing 12 crops of fruit. So people will be eating fruit. There are fruits, then the people will eat fruit. Okay. And if there's any, any bad things, they will be healed. Alright. Now the one thing that is worth mentioning is this bit here. I want you guys to read and um, contemplate. The throne of God and the Lamb will be in the city, and His servants will serve Him. Who's servant? Is God, God or the Lamb needs servants to serve Him? I, th I thought um, in heaven there's no need for that. Hmm? Okay. John and the angel. So John sees the the angel of God, or hears him, and when he, I had heard and seen them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel. Okay. So what does the 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 angel say? He said to me, "Don't do that." If we go back to the Old Testament, many and many many times you will find that Abraham and uh, Isaiah and some of the prophets falling down on their faces and worshiping the angel. And in here it says, "Don't." He, the angel himself, says, "Do not." Hmm. Further away, John records that Jesus is coming and he will have a reward with him and he will give to each person according to what they have done again the emphasis is deed what you do you have done okay remember that and still in here the verses here so this is chapter 22 verse 14 Oh, let's let's go here. Let, let's read from here. Blessed are those who wash their robes, and they may have the right to the tree of life, and may go through the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs. Okay, who are the dogs? And who probably practice this? And this, of course. Remember, boyfriend, girlfriend, going out, getting drunk and ending up in someone's bed not knowing who alright let's not go very far just from the dog and the sexually, sexually immoral Jesus here is talking and he calls himself the morning star we already told you that in chapter in Isaiah chapter 14 12 the morning morning star is actually the devil now anyway all that is that I don't know if you noticed that Jesus here, according to John he says he's the root and offspring of David when Jesus has nothing to do with David nothing his mother is a Levite and he has no father so how is he related to David I don't know and I don't know why would John or the writer of the book of Revelation would say that he's the root and the offspring how can he be this the offspring I know some some Christian would say oh he's the root means because he's God then he he made he made um, he created um, David. Fine. Okay. If that's what you say, okay, I'll take that. But just tell me, how is he the offspring of David? Yeah? I'll leave that to you. There's this little bit here that makes me wonder. 
So he, whoever is talking there, let's say let's say Jesus is talking. Uh, he warns everyone who changes this crow. What what scroll is he talking about? If he if he uh, adds anything or takes words away from it. What scroll is being talked about in here? Is it the Bible itself or is it just the book of Revelation? Hmm? I wonder. You see guys that, that if the addition or omission of words or verses is from the, this scroll here, the book of Revelation, then fine, because we don't know, we would never know uh, whether there was any addition or omission, because we don't have the original um, scroll of the, this book here called Revelation. We would never know. But if it was about the Bible, then there is a big, big problem. Cause just between the two, the biggest uh, denominations of Christianity, which are the, the Catholics and the Protestants, they have like, uh, what, what was that, like seven books difference. Seven books, they don't include them. The Protestants, they take them out. And the Catholics, they have them. So, they have 66 books in one Bible, and the other Bible, they've got 73. So, what is being added and what is being omitted is a bit um, suspicious, and I leave that to you, Christians. But he says, He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. So coming soon, why? It's 2,000 years later. And the whole thing has, has been changed. As per the rest, you know, up to chapter 20, that's it, where the end of it. This is the end of the book of Revelation, or the Apocalypse of John. Um, I don't know what you think about it. I highlighted a few points. These are my issues with the book of Revelation. I have others and I will um, I'll bring them up. At the end of it, I invite you to embrace Islam, which doesn't have these dreams or whatever they are, uh, where there are no creatures with seven horns and ten eyes and dragon and serpent which turns into a dragon and then again a serpent these are stuff kind of do are not coherent and they do not make sense and they cannot be from God therefore the book of Revelation is not from God uh, therefore uh, it needs to be rejected um, with this I conclude that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah without any partners, without a son, without a father. And I testify and bear witness that Muhammad, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and Noah are his servants and messengers. Um, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers in humanity, Assalamu alaikum. Um, of course, I greeted you in the greeting of Islam, which is Salaam Alaikum, and that is peace be on you. Until we meet again, take care of yourself and consider Islam for yourself.